The object of this game is to find out which of these six sections is increasing by the number two here in the bottom. Is it A, B, C, D, E, or F? And if you see A is counting 82, 84, 86, we can make it slower or faster by clicking down here or dragging the slider here. And we are now playing in the easy mode of the game, which is ones, twos, or tens. And all the incorrect answers are ones, twos, and tens. So counting by twos is this, A. We can either click on, the, on this A square or we can press the letter A. Good job. And we got that correct. Now which is counting by ones. And we're looking around and if we see the, um, the numbers where the units don't change, the units are not changing over here so that's not counting by ones. And this is counting by ones, A again. Good. Which is counting by tens. And this time we are looking for the large number on the screen. And counting by tens, as you'll notice, is the same as counting by ones in the tens column. There we are. Good job. Let's make this a little harder and see how the game goes. Let's go to standard mode. In standard mode, it's counting by ones, twos, fives, tens, twenty, um, fifty, or hundreds. So counting by fives, counting by fives is the same as counting by tens in the, um, sorry, same as counting five zero five zero in the tens column. So counting by fives would be over, let's look around. Uh, whoops, I'm sorry. <laughs> counting by fives is five zero five zero in the units column. Over here, B. Boom. Yes. Now counting by ones, so we're now looking for the small number. I like to ask students to tell me which is not counting by ones. And if there's no change in the uh, units, it's not counting by ones. The no change over here in the units column, it's not counting by ones. And the correct answer is here. All right. And counting by fifties, counting by fifties is, is the same as five zero five zero in the tens column. And now we can make it go faster. And you can also ask students, once students get the hang of this game, you can ask them to tell you what each of the sections is counting by and ignore the question down here. So you say, what is A counting by? What is B counting by? What is C counting by? And this, this game promotes conversations about numbers. I've used the game with first, second, and third graders. Some younger children will like it. Uh, in other countries, first, second, and third graders, that would be six, seven, and eight-year-olds. Um, I like to say that the fast level of the game is too difficult for adults, but not too difficult for children. Let's try the fast level. So you see it gets quite, quite quick over here, but rather, you can still get it. It's not, it's not uh, impossible. Here we are. And let's try the most difficult level here, the challenge. Challenge is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, or 15s, 20, 25, 50, 75, um, 100s or 90s also, we have 90s and 80s and 70s, 60s, and we have, um, I think, 150s. So if it's counting by 90s, the pattern that we're looking for is that in the tens column, the, the numbers, the digits is counting down, the numbers counting down in the tens column. So we're looking around, um, let's look around carefully, 87654321. So if it's counting by 90s, it's almost like it's a blasting off into space. Three, two, one. This is it over here. Nine, eight, seven, six. Boom. That is correct. Counting by eighties. One little trick you can do also is just to wait until the numbers reach a round number. If you think that it's counting by eighties, just wait until the, your suspicion is um, the suspected uh, section is at eighty, and then see if the next a number is going to be eighty. So let's see over here. Yes, right here. Right over here. Right. This is it right here. All right. You can hear the, uh, the rewards are a little bit on the loud side, but you can always control the sound. Let's see what else we can play with this game. How about if we switch on spacebar stepping? I like to play spacebar stepping in the standard mode. And spacebar stepping is mostly for gifted students, where 
a teacher can ask students to try and remember each of the six sections using memory without writing them down. And then the teacher uses the space bar and goes one, two with the space bar. And then ask the students to look at each of the sections and see if each of them, uh, try and figure out what each of them has increased by. What else do we have in this game? Um, you can switch off the space bar stepping. Um, you can hide the speed control if you'd like. The bottom, you can hide that speed control. Um, you can set the password over here. And I'm going to type in the word password for password if you'd like. And then, um, then you can make, you can show the speed control again if you'd like. Here's the speed control. Comes back. Um, what else can I tell you about this game? Um, if at any time you don't like the particular number that is being shown on the screen for the question, you can just go up and choose to start the game again. So if I don't like the number one for this question, I can just go up and choose easy mode again, and it gives me another random question. I can if I don't like the number 25 here, I can go up and just choose standard mode, and it gives me a number, another question. I think that the greatest benefit of this game is the conversations that happen when students play the game. And I'm hoping that it develops a number sense so that a numeracy, so that number patterns make sense to students before they start memorizing the multiplication tables. This is Phil Shapiro. I hope you enjoy this game.